Hello friends, this is Nageshwar and welcome to my channel ITBot143. In this tutorial, I will show how to backup your computer running on Windows 7 and how to restore your computer from the backup. So first of all, we will know what is the difference between backup and system image. System image creates an exact copy of your entire hard drive and creates into one large file which you can store on other hard drives. Normally, a portable hard drive works very well for this. This can be used to restore your computer if your hard drive or computer ever stops working. However, you cannot choose individual items to restore. You can return to exact setup you had when you made the system image. Whereas in backup, you can backup anything you want including system files, application files, but usually backups are done for your personal data, the data you created and downloaded. Okay, backup copies your files mostly from libraries, that is documents, music, pictures and videos. It is meant for restoring items on a small scale. If you accidentally erase a file, you can restore it back from backup. Okay, now let's start backup process. Here, I'm using Windows 7 desktop computer. Uh, you can find, uh, so I kept one camera in front of that. So I connected to this desktop through any place control software okay now i will show how to take backup from this system so to go to the backup just click on start and control panel there in system and security you will find backup your computer just click on that okay now it will come into the backup or restore your files otherwise just open your computer and just right click on C, go to properties, here come to tools, there you will find backup now and you click here, directly it will come to backup now only and after this just click on main space, now it is showing you a space provided by, provided for the backup okay uh, now i connected my external hard disk to this computer so and i allocated h drive for this and so come to system change here just uh, select keep or you can choose any of these uh, but here I'm selecting let windows minus space used for backup history. Okay, just click on OK. And after that, just come to change settings. So here, now select where you want to save your backup. So I'm choosing H drive. That is a drive on my external DVD write, uh, hard disk. Okay. And after that, just click on next. And it is uh, showing what do you want to backup. Uh, generally recommended is uh, let Windows choose. Uh, but here, I want to choose myself. Because uh, if you choose this, it will not backup your program files and anything formatted with, with the FAT file system. And also files in the recycle bin or any temporary files that are one gigabyte or more. So I will choose this and it is showing the drives uh, in this system, C drive and D drive and uh, data files. Just you select uh, which drive you want to take a backup. So I am choosing C drive and D drive and data files, backup data, newly created use in Rajas libraries. Now uh, because uh, these and also I am selecting new volume E also but here 
uh, you can find that the space uh, for the backup is not showing because it will not uh, show that and then these are uh, these two drives are from my external hard disk so I don't want to choose this and also here uh, you can find include a system image of drives that is system reserved C drive so you select this one after that just click on next now just it is uh, giving review for this backup settings uh, after that uh, you can come to change schedule and here uh, you can schedule your backup process okay uh, you can choose daily or weekly or monthly basis or uh, during uh, on weekdays uh, you can select and what time okay so I'm choosing uh, weekly Sunday and 7 p.m. and after that uh, because uh, files that have changed and new files that have been created since your last backup will be added to the previous backup okay and after that just click on OK now save settings and exit okay after that just click on backup now okay just now uh, backup process started so uh, the time required for this backup depends on your uh, data in your drives okay so I will skip this process because uh, nearly it takes uh, for this system 10 to sorry 15 to 20 minutes so till that time I will pause this video welcome back uh, just now uh, completed backup process now uh, I will try to restore few files uh, before that uh, I'm removing few files okay completely I'm removing shift delete okay and again in D drive I'm removing one folder okay uh, I will show what is in uh, in this folder I have images so I will remove this okay okay now I will show how to restore these files just come here and please select on restore my files now here you will find uh, two options browse for files and browse for folders okay first I will show browse for folders and uh, just in D drive I removed one folder so I'm selecting this and add folder and after that browse for files and e drive I'm I'm selecting my image files and after that just click on next okay uh, where do you want to restore your files so I want to store uh, restore this in the same uh, at that means original location okay I'm selecting that only and click on restore okay your files have been restored let's check it oh come to computer e drive yes i restored my images back after deleting these images okay and come to d drive and video templates okay friends yes i successfully restored my deleted files so like this we can use backup and restore option in Windows 7 and okay so I hope uh, this video will help you in uh, taking backup and restoring your Windows 7 computer and uh, if you like this video please click on like button and 
please share it with your friends and please visit my channel IT Board 143 to watch more latest uploaded videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel and thank you friends have a nice day